What on earth is this on the table? James Roberts is here with me and he's going to tell me, because you are amazing. Tell me what this is. I don't know about amazing. Oh. We've got a great team who've made this into something that is amazing. Um, this is effectively a uh, neonatal incubator and just being able to bring it into your studio today is, is a pretty big thing. Um, we're offering a, f uh, a way to make healthcare flexible within, within the NHS at the moment and uh, other countries around the world. So tell me, show me. Show you? Okay, I'll, I'll let you know. So open that for you? Yep, go for it. Okay. So this is a, a full neonatal incubator, which I've brought into your studio today. Wow. Usually you'd probably need a crane to get one of these systems in, a massive, big, bulky, heavy piece of equipment. And tell me what it's used for while you're, while you're putting it together for me. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to keep a baby, when they're born preterm, in something called uh, the thermal neutral zone. And you can think of it kind of at the temperature of a mother's womb. Um, it means they're spending their energy on growing um, rather than trying to keep themselves warm. Uh, and it's the very base of neonatal care. So if you think of neonatal care as kind of a an upside down triangle, thermoregulation really is the bottom of it. Without it, nothing else goes well. So this is a device that really is meant to save kids and not just let them survive, but also thrive. And you can see, you know, we've worked a, uh, a lot on the usability of the device. So it goes up very easily, one button operation, included battery inside of it, and you've got everything you need. That is unbelievable. Thank you. You, you developed this or, or came up with this idea when you were at university? Yeah, it's my bachelor degree project. Um, unbelievable. How is it being used now? Um, it's being used in the NHS to keep babies closer to mother and father in a very stressful time. We're saving time, money, bed stays, but also in countries like uh, Ukraine at the moment, where because it's flexible, we can go down to bomb shelters and into NICU. It means they don't have to choose between keeping babies warm or the nurses potentially being maimed, which is a, a horrible state to be in. But we can offer them something that helps. How many babies have you saved? We think, loose estimations, around 1,500 to 2,000. Unbelievable. Oh, thank you. It, it's, oh. it's, a, it's a team effort, honestly. Uh, they make me look a lot better than I am. So. Uh, that's nonsense. Yeah. And, and you are expanding in an unbelievable fashion. Yeah, team's doubled in size in the last eight weeks. <laughs> eight weeks? Uh, so, yeah, we've got some great, um, great supporters on board um, who really believe in the vision of the company, the impact we're going to have. Obviously, we're looking for more, um, so we need great people in this to keep expanding. Um, we plan to do that again in the next year as well. How did you come up with the idea? Uh, originally, uh, I'm a product designer, design engineer by background. Um, we are given the brief to design something that solves a problem. Uh, with that, I watched a documentary that explained that because they lacked what they thought was a simple medical device globally, so not just places where you might think of these, but parts of the NHS, US, um, they're effectively losing entire generations. I then told my parents about it and found out my mother was uh, one of the first babies in an incubation in the UK in the 1960s. I've got pictures of it as well. Um, so. It became a personal story for me then as well. I wouldn't be here without one of these. That, exactly, yeah. that's amazing. And where, what, what happens next? You, you want to expand further? Of course. Um, we've got our manufacturing in the UK, we've got more development to do. The vision of the company is to give ac smarter healthcare access to children. Um, we've got lots of other products we want to develop. This is just the start. This is just our, our flag in the ground. Uh, Mum as a company will develop other systems to really access this type of technology globally. OK, so the baby goes in this way? It goes inside the front. There's a door. OK. The and, and you think it's saved potentially up to 1,500 Potentially. It, it, it's very loose uh, kind of calculation. So th these are being used in Ukraine? Uh, the Ukraine at the moment. They're being used in other countries around the world. And we're in a number of NHS trusts already as well. Unbelievable. How do people find out more about you? I keep saying unbelievable because it really is. I mean, it's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Come to our website. So it's uh, mumincubators.com, but mum with an O, not a U, like the Americans. Um, if you'd like to support the Ukrainian piece as well, we've been working with our partners, Crown Agents, who have been fantastic. Uh, they're amazing logistics. It's one thing building this, actually getting it to where they need to be is another thing. They've got a Just Giving campaign, so Just Giving forward slash campaign forward How slash Crown Agents Ukraine. Costs? Can't give that away at the oh, moment. Okay. I work with Crown. I knew you were going to say that. Away, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so. And how many do you think have gone to Ukraine? Uh, about 75 so far. Ukrainian Ministry of Health have asked for another 100. For another 100? Yeah. And, and you'll be able to fulfil that? Well, we'll do, yeah, we'll do the best we can. OK, so. and they're obviously... Um, what, which part of the country did you say you were based in? Uh, I'm, uh, we've got offices in Stevenage and near Leeds. Okay. Um, it's built in uh, Felixstowe in Suffolk. It was developed in Cambridge. OK. I'm not going to say unbelievable anymore because we all think that it is. But look how quickly you managed to put that together. I'm, I'm, I'm well practised now. So. Yeah, well, it looked, it's a bit like putting one of those babies' prams up. But, I mean, you did it um, in, in less than a minute, didn't well, it, you? It shows how hard the team have worked to make it a great device. OK. So. Well, I saw the story in the paper and I said, get that young man in and here you are. And I'm, I'm 
Good for you. I'm really happy to be talking to you. Ah, uh, you too. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Really Thank appreciate you. it. Thank you.